violent attack on an animal in Ottawa County. And we do want to warn you, some of the images are graphic. A family in Park Township is nursing one of their pets back to health after finding it with severe injuries over the weekend. 13 on your side, Lakeshore reporter Noah Fromson has more. The animals at the Skeltis Hobby Farm are a unique group. Llamas and a horse, chickens, various animals. But over the years, yeah, we spend a lot of time out with them. The creatures roaming the 10 acre property have become a small family. <laughs> one that's protected by a mother and son, Toby and Priscilla, and the newest addition. You are a good girl. Sayla. But they can guard, they're very territorial, and so they can guard like a dog would. Um, they're just a little more low maintenance compared to a dog. Jennifer Skeltis is used to seeing the llamas walking by the fence, but over the weekend, her husband found Sayla's face stuck in the meadow. So originally we thought, oh, she did this to herself. But as we looked closer, it looked like an animal attack. She was bleeding badly, losing her ear and jawline. A vet came to perform emergency surgery. It was two and a half hours of her stitching. Sayla seemed to be like 80 or so stitches, plus uh, dealing with the ear. Doctors were able to fix her ear and repair most of the damage to her face, but Jennifer called the DNR to find out what animal could have done that to their friendliest llama. Prints were canine in nature, um, a large dog, they thought. They were pretty big tracks. Stitched up and on antibiotics, Sayla's back to eating and getting loving care from mom. A snuggler, for sure. Yes, you are. But she's still stuck in quarantine as she recovers, getting back to her loving self. They are animals who like to be in a group, so she's probably a little lonely. She won't be what she used to be. She's probably deaf in one ear, but she will um, be okay. In Park Township, Noah Fromson, 13 on your side. A conservation officer at the DNR confirmed with us today the tracks were too big to be a coyote's, and they do believe it was a domesticated dog that attacked the llama.